Okay, so I finally got a really high-end smartphone, and that's why I'm taking this video with. But this phone here, it's a LG View CU920. I've had this phone ever since 2008, and it still works perfect to this day. Uh, technology's came a long way since this phone came out. This is not a smartphone. There's no Wi-Fi. There's no, uh, you know, 4 or 5G internet. There's no, uh, you know, nothing special. This came out one year before the iPhone even uh, released. Um, this phone used to be a big deal when it very first came out for a lot of reasons, but so here's what it looks like. This is, I guess you call it the home screen. Up top you, you have your uh, signal strength and this phone only supports 3G. Um, come February of next year, this phone will be completely dead because they're doing completely away with the 3G network altogether. That's why I ended up getting this smartphone I have now. But it has Bluetooth at the top as well as you know other things this uh clock on here you can press and hold and drag it anywhere you want to on screen so that's kind of the introduction of that for the first time ever uh you press it and that's how you set a alarm clock and this is how i've been setting my alarm clock ever since i was little so set it to 701 a.m and hit set and you hit highlights and white so that's going to be uh my phone alarm for in the morning um, it's got buttons on the side. You got a camera button. You have the lock button, volume up, volume down. These have a weird um, charging port. It's not a any kind of a regular style. Um, these even have an antenna that you can pull out. That antenna was there to uh, for the TV service. That TV service no longer exists anymore. But you needed that antenna right there in order to uh, pick up their mobile TV service. It did work back in the day because um, they gave me a 30 day free trial at one time and it worked. But nowadays, you know, no mobile TV service anymore. So, just like your phones nowadays, you, you kind of got your tabs down at the bottom. Uh, you can't change them, of course, but uh, the bottom one's your phone. So, that's what it looks like when you dial numbers. It does have speed dial. This is your contacts. And trust me, I got a ton of contacts in there from 2008 all the way through to now this is your main uh, I guess main menus you have four different tabs so you have just your one where you can dial phone numbers address book for different things you know the screens and the touch screen stuff it's not really that bad on these phones um, and it's nothing like they are today. This is actually a pressure sensitive that's made out of screen or out of plastic. It's a pressure sensitive top screen. So it's not like, see, I can touch it all day long, but it doesn't do anything unless I actually press, you know, pressure on it. So it's different than what the phones are nowadays. Um, text messaging, that's came a long way since these phones, but here's what the uh, messages look like. So you have your inbox, draft, outbox, and sent. So let's go to the inbox. I just uh, received this message from AT&T today. Um, they uh, reminded me that I haven't activated that new smartphone I got yet. And if I don't activate it, they're going to activate it for me tonight. They've uh, gave me this warning now for the past two weeks, but tonight they're actually going to activate it. And as you see, it says your current cell phone will only be able to call 911 and 611 until February of 2020. That's when they're doing away with uh, 3G network because this phone doesn't support 4G or anything. Uh, back then, 3G was the, the biggest thing there was. It's supposed to be blazing fast speeds. In fact, let me turn this phone off. You press and hold the power button until it goes off. See, the 3G is like flames and everything. It's supposed to be like super, super high speed internet and all that kind of stuff. Um, here's what the phone looks like when you turn it back on. It actually comes on pretty quickly, considering it's such an old phone. So you got your AT&T. Back when I got this, or I guess it was right before I got this phone, it used to be a singular back then. In fact, the SIM card I have in here was from 2004, and the SIM card actually says a singular on it. But it'll come up here in a second. And like I said, you'll get your 3G animation. It's supposed to be blazing fast speeds. But this phone was a really big deal back when it very first came out. 
um, you know, back in this time frame, you know, if you wanted to, to play music and stuff, uh, you had to have an iPod or a Zoom, you know, cell phones at the time didn't have built-in music players. Well, guess what? This bad boy here has a built-in music player. The only thing about it, it doesn't have a headphone jack output. Uh, there again, that weird looking charging port on the side. They had a special uh, thing you plug into it for their LG um, headphones that was for this. Of course, you could buy an adapter that plug into it where it could use regular headphones. But um, yeah, this one had a built-in music player. Uh, of course, I don't have any songs on it anymore. But, you know, I used to back in the day. I used to have, you know, bunches of songs on here. Um, all this stuff is kind of laughable nowadays. Like, let me go to the settings on here. More. And we'll go to um, the memory. Whoops. Um, to the common memory. Give it a second. Load. This is absolutely laughable nowadays. This phone internal memory had a whopping, basically... 0.15 gigabyte you know it's whatever that kilobyte right there is but i did it on uh, google while ago it was 0 0.15 gigabyte and that's all this phone had for internal memory but i could take tons of pictures with it uh the other funny thing you know you can put a micro sd memory card in it but back then it only supported up to a four gigabyte and that is it if you put it bigger than four gigabyte it wouldn't even recognize it the uh, four gigabyte back then was getting to be pretty big. Um, I remember I bought one at Big Lots one time, and it was like twenty five or thirty dollars at Big Lots for a four gigabyte. That's there again. That's laughable too. Um, smart chip. That's your um, Sims card. As you see, I got almost two hundred and fifty contacts in here. Um, software update. That's something this phone has never had. It's never had to have a software update ever. So it's still running the original software from the day this phone came out in 2008. But, um, let's see what what all we got. So the first tab, that's where you, you know, do your messaging and stuff. Oh yeah, and they didn't have Facebook Messenger and all that kind of stuff back then. No, you had inst you know, IM, Instant Messenger, through Yahoo. Of course, you know, you can't sign in to it anymore because I'm sure Yahoo's don't support this uh, platform anymore and mobile email it's done this is kind of like an app for the phone through java you can log into yahoo mail aol you know all that kind of stuff you can scroll down over here on the side let me exit out of that app of course none of that's supported anymore either mobile email it used to be and it used to work um the next one is more for like your media and stuff like that You'd have your TV tuner. Like I said, that doesn't work anymore. Uh, cellular video, you used to click on it and it'd bring you to a website where you could uh, watch videos, you know, stream them or stuff like that. Um, of course, you had AT&T Music. That's where you could actually purchase music and download it to your phone. Uh, this phone does come with a couple games. Um, very, very basic games. In fact, if you want to have a, la a laugh, let me uh, open one of these games. Like I said, it's Java powered. Let me turn the sound on when it gives me the option here in a minute. Yes, I want to enable sound. Let me do the demo. Like I said, this is completely laughable nowadays, but. You use the uh, arrows down here at the bottom to move your character around. Pretty neat though. <laughs> it even has my name, it says Joe. Let's exit out of here. And like I said, just think this phone right here only has basically one tenth of a gigabyte of memory. Let me exit out of this game. But the, the fact that it even has this stuff on here is pretty neat. Um, applications. This is just the, the ones that it comes with. And if that, if that don't date it, nothing does. MySpace. Because MySpace was a big thing back then. 
Um, in fact, you actually had to pay for that app. You'll see here in a second. Your demo version of MySpace has expired. Do you want to purchase? <laughs> so back then, you had to actually had to purchase those apps to use them. All these, you know, of course, you know, shop for other applications. Uh, the camera. Uh, let me take my case off here where you can see it better. Let me lock my screen. It's a single camera. It doesn't have a front-facing camera. Um, what it does have is a mirror up above it. It's kind of like a concave or convex mirror. You're supposed to be able to see yourself in that reflection to do selfies. But the camera itself is only a two megapixel with autofocus. At the time, though, it wasn't too terribly bad. Let me open the camera and I'll show you. It's no good nowadays, really. But there's my. Let me take a picture of this. Uh, radio screen real fast okay so there's a picture I just took of the radio up there on my wall so I could send it through a message I could delete it I could pull it up in my um, picture viewer in fact let me do that I'll open it in my photos well, that's a different version of photos. Let me go to it. So now we're down here to the file folder, if you can see it on the side. This is where your audio and ringtones are, your videos, your pictures, alarm clock, calculator, calendar, tools. Oh yeah, and tools. This is something I actually use uh, quite a bit, is the unit converter. I wish all these phones had this for, let's say, length. Uh, millimeters to inches um, like 240 millimeters how many inches is that it would show you that's a really cool thing to have and you know you can change it to centimeters you know any, anything basically that's pretty cool um, it has a world clock that will show you what time it is anywhere in the world you can hit new and hit the little icon of the world and it will show you a picture of it and you use the arrows to select, you know, what city that you want the time zone to be to see it. Pretty sweet. Would be New York, of course. Wish I've already got that on here. Uh, voice commands. This phone actually does uh, support very basic uh, voice commands, and I used to use it pretty often. Um, I'll open it here in a second, and I'll ask it for the time and date. Time and date. August 24th, Tuesday, 9, 4 p.m. Say a command. Call the weather. Did you say the weather, General? Yes. Calling. So it's pretty awesome that it even uh, supported stuff like that. So this is what it looks like when you make a phone call. regular speaker. Let me turn the volume up. And hang up. So it's pretty cool. Say a command. Missed calls. Twelve missed calls. Say a command. Call eight two eight three two four one two three four. Yes. Calling. So, voice commands actually worked really well on it, even though it only uh, supported some of the basics. Of course, you know now you know voice commands is a really regular occurrence, but this is like brand new technology from back in the day. Um, I want to show y'all what Facebook looks like. I've been dealing with this for all these years. Every day when I'm at work answering people's messages back, when I'm at the farm and stuff, it's not done through a smartphone. It's done through this old-fashioned phone. So you'd actually go to the media net, that's the actual internet on the phone. And I have Facebook saved as a saved page. So there it is, Facebook. I press it twice to load it. And this is just a saved page from who knows how old this page is. Then I hit the uh, refresh button. 
So this is what the internet looks like on this phone. And it keeps popping that up. I don't, know, I don't know what that even means, but it keeps doing that over and over and over every time it goes to load the web page. All right, so this is what um, Facebook looks like for me and has looked like for me ever since I've originally had this phone. So it shows I have a message up there in the corner. I gotta wait for everything to finish loading first. Okay, so it just finished loading. I can use the volume keys on the side to scroll down or scroll up. Or I can click and drag with my thumb. I have to actually press on the screen for that to work. And let me open that message I have up here. So now I have to wait for it to load. This is why it takes me so long to uh, respond back to people. So here's what the messages look like that he's been sending me recently. So I'll respond back to him later, but let me hit the back button. It takes absolutely forever to uh, to top back or for it to load web pages. And as you see, my batteries already went down a little bit, no longer than we've been making this video. The batteries in these things absolutely suck. Um, let me show you the camera again. I'll do a uh, video this time. So turn it sideways. Right now we're in uh, picture mode. Let me put it over in video camera mode. All right, we're in video camera mode. Let me set it up for um, taking a longer video. So super fine. Record mode. I need it to be. Whoops, I clicked the wrong thing. Record mode. General mode. All right, so now I'll hit the button up here to start recording. So. Testing, testing, hey testing. You wanna see what my new phone looks like? I'll take a video of it. Then you hit the stop button up here. And hit play to watch that video that we just made. Whoops. I don't know where the audio went. <laughs> Let me start it over. So there's what the video looks like. So all this stuff, like I said, it's completely laughable by today's standards. But uh, oh yeah, uh, that's something I didn't show you while ago. Um, let's see if I can remember how to show it. You actually had the the option back in the day. You and the person you was going to do it with both had to be in three G service. But uh, these phones actually uh, supported. Um, I can't remember what they call it, video sharing, I think it is. Um, I don't even know, I can't even remember exactly how you bring it up. But you could actually do a um, a video call with two people, kind of like you do nowadays. Only, like I said, this phone don't have a, a front-facing camera that faces towards you, so they'll be seeing what's in front of the phone the whole time. But um, it actually supported that back in the day, if I can remember where it was. Bluetooth is pretty basic I and mean, it's turned on right now. I can search for devices and all that good stuff. Uh, you can play music through Bluetooth from this phone. It's not the, the best quality in the world, but it, it did work. Uh, display, you can do wallpapers, backlight timer. Uh, you can change the brightness of the screen, which it dims down when the battery gets low. Full brightness is what I keep it at. I'll show you what it looks like when you're doing a text message. So let me go back to messages, inbox. So say I wanted to reply to that message, I hit reply. And this is the kind of keyboard you have. So if I wanted to say, uh, all right then. Then I just hit send and it would send through. I'm not going to do it though, but well, actually, yeah, I will do it. So that's what it looks like to send a text message. 
and I just got a text message back in response. Auto reply. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll show you what the pictures look like on this phone. I've actually got a lot of pictures on here over the past who knows how long. Most of them's no good, but you know, you can download pictures online too. Here's what Aunt Esther looks like. I must have downloaded her picture one time off of Google. Watch it, sucker. But yeah, you can scroll through your different pictures and stuff. That's a pretty funny one me and my brother liked. Swat came into my house, disinfected my whole family. I never coughed on nobody. Rebel flag thing, door speaker. There's a pretty nice orange Cherokee, I think. There's a picture I just put on here while I go for a wallpaper. This phone doesn't have, you know, where you can rotate and it will rotate for you, but it does have this button here in the center that you press and it rotates your phone. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me go to ringtones. I've had the same ringtone ever since I was a little boy. The Knot Rider ringtone. So let me wait for this to load up. Go back. Audio and ringtones. Most of these are just audio clips I've had throughout the years. Should have had a Knot Rider ringtone on here somewhere. Whoops, I went past it. Yeah, Knot Rider. So this has been my ringtone forever. That kind of gives you an example of what the music player would have <clears throat> would have kind of looked like. These are some of the ringtones it came with. I can tell you one thing, I've heard that one right there a bazillion times. Uh, that's what my alarm clock, uh, that's what I wake up to every morning. That's what my alarm clock on this phone sounds like. And I tell you what, if I don't use this phone for anything else, once it's, uh, you know, will no longer work with service, I'm still going to use it as my alarm clock. Because there's just something special about this phone and, and my alarm clock. So it's 914. Let me set the alarm for 915. It's very easy to do. I just press and hold. 915, make it PM. And hit set. So at 915, the alarm's going to go off. I just leave my phone locked until it does. But it's a really nice looking phone, though. I mean, especially for the. Yeah, there it goes. So you can touch anywhere on it, it's not going to shut it off. You have to hit the unlock button and reach up and hit snooze. That's what I do probably six or eight times every morning. Because <laughs> when you hit snooze, it um, delays it for another five minutes. So five minutes from now, it will go off again. But it's a classic. I don't really know what else to say about this phone. Um, calendar it's a pretty nice calendar it's really easy to use I've actually used this calendar for a lot of things that's what I set uh, reminders for on my phone like let's see today was the 24th Randy I was, I was supposed to do Randy's Oogle today at five o'clock so I actually still use this uh, calendar for stuff and it still works calculator is pretty nice too 
I've been using it for a long time. Um, I did <clears throat> did one job Sunday that was three hundred dollars. Did another job Saturday that was one hundred and twenty dollars. Then I did a job last night for my brother that was like a hundred and I don't know. Let's just say one hundred and twenty. Did a job today that I made thirty dollars for. So five hundred seventy dollars in the past three days. But I tell you one thing, I've been working my butt off the past couple of days. But calculator works on here really good. Uh, of course, you already seen the alarm clock. Um, this will tell you the actual real time right there. So it's nine sixteen and forty two seconds. This is the one I always go by when I set a clock on you know radio or my house. I use this clock right here because it shows the seconds and it makes it so easy to uh, set clocks and stuff that way. So applications, I've already showed that. Like I said, TV tuner don't work anymore. They did away with that service years ago. Address book, speed dial list. Got my dad on number two, my brother on number three, my mom on number four, and my boss at work on number five. I use that every day. Uh, when I get to work, I call my boss first, then I call my dad. So I use the speed dial every day. Um, I can copy or delete my contacts, which I need to copy all those one day and put them on this new phone. I'm trying to think what else there is to show. So it looks like it's going to be about it. This is almost a 30 minute video so far. Oh, uh, back in the day uh, where, where it says connection here. Let me click on it. Uh, well, here in a minute. Um, growing up, I didn't have Wi-Fi. I didn't have you know, any kind of internet. The only internet I had was on this phone. Uh, 2010, I did get a laptop. And I was going to, I just graduated high school. I was going to fill out job applications. Because at the time, you had to fill everything out through stupid computers. So I went out and bought me a, a used laptop for $250 and uh, used this phone right here for um, internet through Bluetooth. So you can go to a connection. Um, you could either do music sync, mass storage, or data data service. I was actually able to use the Bluetooth to uh, tether to my laptop and I had internet on my laptop that way. So I filled out some job applications. And uh, a little quick tip for any of y'all uh, kids out there, you know, just getting out of high school or getting ready to get out of high school. Uh, if you fill out any job applications online and uh, never hear back from any of them, don't feel bad. Because I filled some out in 2010 and never heard back from them. It's been 10 years now. <laughs> that's just a little joke right there. But, I mean, that's true, but that's kind of a joke. Um, I did end up, of course, uh, getting a job at the chicken farm, and I've been there for over 10 years now. Uh, I got about another two years left at that job uh, before my boss will um, retire. And uh, when he retires from chicken farming, that's when I'm going to retire from chicken farming. But uh, this phone's been with me through everything. I and mean, I've had two girlfriends way back in the day, like 2009, 8 and 9. So I've had the, the same phone ever since back then. Um, all the cars I worked on throughout the years, all the text messages and messages on Facebook I've answered throughout the years. This phone's done a lot of stuff, and uh, just to think that this phone itself has actually outlived the, the service that it runs on, that's pretty amazing. Back then, they really built things. Even as, as you know, there goes that alarm, let me turn it off. But, um, this is basically, like I said, the grandfather to uh, all the Android phones and all the iPhones that came after it. This is their grandfather. This is one that started it all. I mean, I'm sure there's other phones out there that, you know, had a bigger impact on what this one did. But uh, for the time era and stuff like that, this phone, it, it, to me, it, it's held up well. And I've been able to use it all these years without upgrading. But I want to be sad to see it go because this thing worked so good. Had a really nice uh, sound and speaker. You can see the slot for it up there at the top. Um, you could hear people's voices on it really good. It had a lot of you know mids and bass. Um, a bunch of these phones nowadays don't have uh, good enough speakers where you can hear phone calls good, but this one always did. But yep, it's been my 
look back at this old uh, LG CU920. Um, you can actually take these apart and replace the batteries just by sliding up. There's your battery. Because I've had to put a couple batteries in it throughout the years. So there's what the battery looks like. 1000 milliamp, 3.7 volt. And then here's where your SIM card is. 